Hey there, I am Nev, I'm a dev, and today I have built a little project in latest, yeah, which I'm gonna show you today, and this is probably a beginning of a longer series, um, which I'm really hyped about, and yeah, let's just uh, start right in. And yeah, this is our pretty app right here. Uh, of course, background and logo again generated by the Adobe Illustrator AI. I just love that. Um, I switched the naming during development a few times, but um, I settled with Zenith because it's it sounds pretty new and it's easy to remember because it's short. So this is our landing page, which is not fleshed out at all yet. Um, because this app is of course under active development. Yeah, I can just sign in with my GitHub right here and we have our little app right here. We have what are your plans? So we got a band rehearsal this evening, evening. And I have a photo shoot tomorrow with the juniors growing team. And this will, of course, not be here, but it's actually here. Very cool, right? Um, but how did this gibberish go into like this thing? And if we like go into our Drizzle studio and go into events and refresh that, uh, or we don't even need to refresh that, we have a content, a tag, a date, and an ID. That's crazy right the secret behind all of this is that i am using the vercel ai sdk so if we go ahead and take a look what actually happens right here in our page.server.ts we can see that we have a little actions uh, tab right here with a create action this is just like doing form stuff and checking if the user is authenticated actually this should probably be up here this too like always good if I'm finding some errors in my uh, during recording. <laughs> yeah, so basically what we have here is a um, generate object function, which we imported from AI. So this is the Vercel AI SDK, which I already talked about in a uh, past video. Uh, and I really like it. Uh, the only downside I found was that there is no... Um, use for like um, generative UI installed. So they only use this with next server components. But I found out that like, okay, yeah, this, this chat thing is kind of cool, but um, I think a normally user interface um, will always be a bit better. And yeah, that's what I did. So in our Vercel AI SDK, which I opened the docs right here, we can actually do uh, different things. We can generate the text, uh, which will just give us like a text, like if we were chatting with ChatGPT. But we actually also have generate structure data, uh, which uses the generate object function. And this generate object function takes in uh, a model, which is in our case, our little OpenAI model that I declared here uh, using GPT-40. It takes in the schema, which is this event schema. And it also takes in the mode, which is a tool. Yeah, not really necessary. I can actually also uh, remove this and the app will just work well. And we have system and prompt. So system is kind of my instructions like to the LLM, what it is and what it should do. Like for example, right now is blah, blah, blah because it does not have access to like current uh, dates or the current, yeah, current time and date. Uh, the date property should be in the JavaScript date format, ISO string, blah, blah, blah. I just do discuss weird edge cases. Like if a to-do list app or whatever app says, yeah, we trained the AI, basically just means that they have refined this prompt right here. Like they solved the weird edge cases and general cases. Yeah, this just means like, training your AI. Uh, yeah, the content property describes the event should it be completed, like not that complicated. So let's uh, go to the schema. We have a c.string. I know that is a, there is a date thing right here, which we could use, but because our LLM outputs uh, JSON, there is no uh, date property in JSON, uh, which is why uh, we just need to specify it as, as a string. And I also gave it this date format ISO string and content is of course straightforward is a string and the tag is a enum uh, of a tag. 
And I'm actually really proud of this because I could have declared so many enums for this, but it's actually just one enum. Uh, so if we go to z tag enum, it is z dot enum and tag dot enum values. So what is this tag enum? We imported this from our schema and enum values is just a function which we uh, where we can get our um, or enums. So yeah, we have tag enum and this is our enum uh, right here, which we declared with a Postgres enum and then tag, we just received this enum right here. That's really it. And at the end, we just insert our, uh, no, actually here prompt form that data event. It's just like what we inserted into the form, like what we uh, wrote in here. And that we're just gonna insert this into our DB. Yeah, this is basically um, the functionality of this one. So, and we have of course upcoming where we have this one and we can edit our stuff. Like also right here, we can edit our to-dos. This does not use skeleton, which is a little bit weird, but I think this UI just works well. It just works just as well. And yeah, we just have this photo shoot with the juniors rowing team and we can just uh, put in, okay, I think 18 o'clock is a bit late, but 23rd of June, 2024 uh, is still a good, <laughs> a good date, but I'm going to set this to, uh, oops, no, 1200 and it's probably not private it is fitness it's work let's call it work and 6 of 2024 okay this is weird it updates the thing when i'm selecting something new um need to solve that yeah we can click update and it updated to 12 o'clock and work like i could also just uh, remove yeah that's uh, something other yeah, and then we have this little account page with my username when I joined and if I'm an admin. Of course, if you're not an admin, it just shows nothing right here. We can edit or we will be able to edit our account and we have this billing right here. Yeah, but what does this look like if we are actually not on the paid tier because I have this, um, you can basically only use the application if you pay $10, which I think is not that much regarding it's a one-time purchase and uh, my OpenAI tokens also cost. And if I'm scaling big enough, my Neon instance will also cost. So yeah, let's just log out right here. And if we sign in again and sign in with my GitHub too, we of course have nothing here and we can input something. Please refer to the account page and purchase the project to continue. If we go to our account page, we have this little button right here which I probably should move down here because it's really ugly. That is like in the middle, of course, like that is uh, even more ugly. Uh, look at that. I'm really proud of that. This is cool. We can purchase this. Um, it is powered by Stripe. And let me actually set up a Stripe webhook. So yeah, we can now uh, put in a Stripe webhook right here, which I just um, copied over <laughs> from the website. Uh, our port is 5173 slash API slash stripe slash webhook, if I am not mistaken. Uh, we have API slash stripe slash webhook. Right. So if we run this, it is checking and we have this. So what we can do now is let's go back to our Zenith and it should already throw. No, it does not throw anything, but we can purchase the product and put in our email because on this account, on my testing account, I did not set in, set up an email. So we just can go ahead and do contact at nevilbram.com for two, for two, for two, for two, snubble bram. And then we're gonna click on pay and there should be some Stripe webhooks and it is processed and we are here. And if you go to our account, this button is gone and billing, you are on the paid tier. Your Stripe ID is blah, blah, blah. And we can put in an event. Uh, an event. Uh, let's just go ahead and do build, uh, finish this app by next Sunday. And let's actually 
Look what it has come up with, 30th of June, today is the 22nd. Oh, this is actually pretty well, like it works super good. Yeah, this is almost the whole app. Um, I guess there is of course um, many things that need to be fixed and many things that of course are need uh, of course are needed to be built. Uh, we have this little roadmap right here, uh, which is uh, all of the stuff I already did and the stuff I need to finish or do. Like the landing page is here, uh, the account page is here, but it's not pretty at all or it's not finished. Let's put it that way. And pricing and admin, I need to do all that stuff. Yeah. So um, the project is not really um, in prod yet. Um, there is also a database thing which I need to work out, but... Uh, yeah, let's say I'm like 66% finished with my app, I guess. So I didn't do much YouTube and coding in a while, but this app, I was ill, all lying in bed at home and I had nothing really to do because I thought like, okay, let's actually pick up this uh, generate object thing from the Universal AI SDK. And I really enjoyed it. And I was like, okay, what can I build with this? And then I came up with first just a... Um, really op to do application but i found like to do's mm, it's a bit like not really that special so i just wanted to go ahead in it and do a general event uh thing and i really like it it's just amazing how it turned out how it is now and how it works yeah just super happy with it and yeah so if you enjoyed this video and you don't want to miss out any future videos regarding this project or like general projects, um, yeah, I would appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a like. It helps out a lot. And yeah, with these words, uh, we will see us on next Sunday.